everyone. It has been a while, uh, and it has not been uneventful. Um, and so I'm bringing to you today a side-by-side -side comparison, so to speak. Um, it won't be mastery or even going into much, but showing you two of these really incredibly powerful analytic geometry calculators that are available. One is Geometer Sketchpad, and we like that one for all kinds of different reasons, but it's 10 bucks. Um, it's used in a lot of schools. And then GeoGebra we like, uh, and, and Geometer Sketchpad deals a lot very well with dragging in images and doing kind of transformations on images. GeoGebra is open source. It runs on any number of platforms, and so it is one that you can run on most any computer whatever platform you want and it's got an incredibly large user base they both do essentially the same thing they start to help you break down the lines between algebra and geometry and just think of it as the application of math to science to engineering um, I present these to you now as we have all been exposed to and most mastered the unit circle uh, and I present these for you now so you can see how important trigonometric, I'm sorry, geometric transformations are to uh, both 2D and 3D spatial design and dealing with 2D and 3D data. Whether that is soil data, whether that is road design data, whether that is solid modeling data. And so as we start to learn and master the really incredibly straightforward basics of transformation matrices and look at them in programs like AutoCAD and um, SketchUp and on your calculators you'll see geometrically ways to do things here with both with transformation, ve transformation vectors and with uh, geometric transformations. So I'm going to start with the one that you've maybe seen before and so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pull this down, and this is Geometer Sketchpad, and I'll, I think I can do a little bit better with that one. So with this one, amongst the holes are this problem, you have to define a coordinate system, and then it brings that in something like that. Now, um, right now, sometimes the coordinate system and, right, it's showing me the center there, understanding whether it's, what the units are of the coordinate system can sometimes be a bit of an issue but I'm gonna for instance here draw that circle that we all know and we'll probably start drawing that 10 circle a fair bit if you notice that there I put a circle in and now I can click on it and do measure and the equation and you see the equation go off right over there so I see that was almost right we can hide the quadratic equation now I don't know if we can unhide all so show all hidden so there you go you've got that we can now learn to draw a line and notice the line segment and a line are different on this program I'm gonna go out and draft a line from the center there and I'm gonna actually put it on that circle but it's quite useful sometimes to just put it nearby and then merge it and we can then click on that line segment and now it will let you know if you do measure you see it doesn't let you put an equation on. I'll show you the the caveat to that in a little bit. But you can put the slope of that equation there. And in this case you see that because our scales, everything looks like it's about right, we have the slope so that's not quite a 45 degree line. If I now take that and say display animate point, you'll see what occurs. That slope goes to infinity, negative, positive, negative, and potentially I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Now we could also have done something like this. It's a little complicated. I could have picked an arbitrary point here, and then I could have holding down the shift key, grabbed the point and the line, and had said construct a perpendicular line. I could have then taken something, this line, and holding the shift key to this circle, construct a parallel line. And then in effect, I could have taken this and this, hit a right click and hide the segment. I could take this, right click and hide it. 
And now when I animate the point, grab C, display, animate point, you would see we get that tangent line as it migrates around. Now, since that's a line, we can go ahead and stop this. And we can take that line, understand it's a line, not a line segment. We can measure, because we have two things selected, we're going to select one, say measure here, and we're going to put the equation here. So you'll see what happens to that once again when we animate, display, animate the point. You see how that equation here for, I'll stop it a little bit here. Right there, you see how that slope is only at 14 now. I'll stop it one more time when it's very almost straight up. So you can see how the tangent really just takes off there at the very end. Okay, so that is Geometer Sketchpad. It's got incredibly good tools. It's about 10 bucks. As I show you Geometer Sketchpad, uh, as I show you this next program, which is a free app, GeoGebra, it is not to say that it's not a good 10 buck investment to get Geometer Sketchpad. However, free is free on the campus computers. On the campus computers, I'll show you similar things here and a couple things different. One of the things you have to realize is I think in Ge GeoGebra, the input down here is a lot easier. So if I want to put in, for instance, a capital P, equals open parentheses maybe in this case 20 comma 20 comma 20 it immediately draws the point if I use a small letter open 20 comma 20 it draws the vector and that in and of itself makes this worthwhile as we start hanging and doing and we'll be dealing with vectors throughout. Um, it has the ability here again to draft things like circles so we'll go ahead and circle through center through point we're going to go through that point and immediately it shows you the equation over here what's great about it as you click over to here typically you're able to kind of change the format of the equation but I don't know that it's doing it for you Looks like we hid that. There's that equation there. And you can change the equation to standard format or to the uh, center H and K format. So this is an incredibly powerful tool, um, especially if you start looking at the user community that's out there and what's available. So what I'm doing right now, off on the right, I'm kind of going through all the commands more or less, more or less that are available out there. I don't know the half of them, but I'll let you know the user community is very, very good. Um, and so you can use this program as well. It does things like this. For instance, as we start adding vectors, I can put another vector. Vector u might be equal to 5 comma 40 and then we could put uv vector x equals vector u minus vector v which would be an addition of a negative invalid input let's see how that works u x probably doesn't like x we'll try that again r equals u minus v and it did that. So right there, you noticed it. Some of these kind of uh, did just a basic vector addition, believe it or not. And that's kind of a huge thing there. It will do vector multiplication in terms of dot products um, and cross products as we get to them. And it most likely will do things like matrices as well as we start looking at how to put these things in a calculator. It lets you do things like change in the unit to radians right which we know and also changing the format of the points right click to polar like you're used to in AutoCAD the downside to both of these engines is that they are 2D engines that's also an upside you'll see later on that there is always a 
potential of if something is traveling in a flat plane to redefine what is the plane of definition for your problem. So that is GeoGebra, GeoGebra, free download, GeoGebra.org. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple. You've got all kinds of rounding potential here. You got a right angle style. You've got, you know, you've got all kinds of style inputs here, and and effectively you've got this kind of concept of free versus dependent. So D there is dependent on something up above here. So I'm going to finally lay out. Um, I'll just finally do one last one, which is the multiplication. Remember that you can add vectors. You add them tip to tail. When you subtract vectors, you add the negative of the second vector and you can multiply vectors two ways one way is the dot product and one way is the cross product the dot product is work the cross product is torque and so let's see if we have we have an r q r s t t is not going to be available i'll show you what i mean t equals r u put a space in between them is it knows its multiplication t equals r u it should have given me per hand there it is t is 725 now if i take r so it doesn't let me do but you see that value here it did give me a scalar value for t so all of a sudden if i take r and change it cancel can't it's a dependent property so i'm going to grab r here if i can select U V R. See if I can change something here. Say if I can change that vector, vector there. You notice how these values are changing. So, all kinds of potential here, especially when you realize this is available on all platforms. So, we will be using GeoGebra. Um, in class and out of class, we won't be using so much Geometer Sketchpad because it does have that $10 cost. I lost it there. But I want to really point out that as I start, as you start kind of delving into what mathematics is, especially as you're arranging how important circles and parabolas uh, are, you really want to think about or, or be aware of the kinds of things you can do here with Geometer Sketchpad. So I'll see if I can do one now. Um, with this in this way with geometer sketchpad. I'm gonna put us three points here and then I'm gonna select them all. And now I'm gonna go out and grab a picture in here. I'm grabbing a picture off the screen. I'm gonna copy it. And now I'm gonna right click. Edit paste it's not gonna let me do it so instead I'm gonna go ahead and pull that picture just in here you can see that that picture comes in I now I'm gonna from here I'm gonna take that picture edit copy now I'm gonna grab those three points and say edit paste picture and you notice those pictures that are tied to one point now I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these points. See if I can do it. One, two, three. They're all heighted. Now I can say edit, paste picture, and you notice that you see this concept of a transformation coming here. So that's what Geometer Sketchpad gives you. I think that perhaps that GeoGebra does not. This ability to do shears and you know do all kinds of transform geometric transformations. It lets you do things like this. See if I can do this now. You notice I'm, I'm taking, selecting one and then the other. I'm going to merge the point to the circle, and now I can take that point. And it's going to kind of rotate around. It's being, it's kind of, it's being con constrained is the word. So, as you start learning words like parametric constraints, geometric constraints, transformations, you really can't avoid getting into analytic geometry, uh, and it's fun stuff especially when you matrix when you master how easy it is in the matrix that's 15 minutes post your comment i'll be appreciative of any comments i get thanks bye